Hey, I'm Marco from Ethaco Coffee, and today I'm going to show you how to brew a Chemex. So Chemex is one of my favorite brew methods. It's what I make almost every morning. And it's really versatile. You can brew a lot of coffee. You can brew a little bit of coffee. It's really great. So first thing I'm gonna do to get started is I'm gonna grab my filter. So Chemex has some really interesting filters. If you unfold it, it makes either a circle or a square depending on the type of filter you have. And they're either bleached like this white or they're natural brown. But what you wanna do is you wanna grab one of the size of the filter. If you grab two, you'll actually be unfolding it. If you don't wanna do. Just grab one and put the three size toward the spout. I'll explain why in a second. And then we're going to get our hot water at about 204 degrees, and we're going to rinse the filter and get the Chemex nice and hot. All right, while that is rinsing, we're gonna set that aside. We're gonna to grind our coffee. So today I'm using our plain iced coffee, which is a really great blend that appeals to a very wide audience, depending on uh, whether you like coffees that are, are bolder, darker, or lighter and fruitier. This is really in the middle and it appeals to pretty much anyone's taste. We're gonna be brewing about 600 grams of coffee, which is a keeping two cups, and uh, which is about 38 grams of coffee for a 16 to one ratio. I'm going to weigh it on my kitchen scale. Really important to weigh out your stuff. Got a little too much. Put some back. There we go. And I'm grinding on the new fellow Ode grinder, which is a really cool brand new grinder that we are really digging. It's fast and it's quiet. Awesome. Don't forget to empty the water in your Chemex or else you're going to really regret it later. Put the rinse filter back in, make sure everything's nice. Pour in your coffee. Tear your scale, so you're starting at zero. Get your timer ready, because we're gonna be timing a lot of this coffee. Um, also make sure your coffee bed is nice and flat. We're gonna be doing a 30 second balloon to allow the CO2 gases to be released from this freshly roasted coffee. And then at 30 second mark, we'll put some more coffee in. At the one minute and 12 mark, we'll put some more in. And at just after two minutes, we'll put the rest of the water in. And uh, that will get our brew completely done by about the four minute mark. Let's get our timer ready. I'm gonna be pouring in about 60 grams of water for the balloon, or just to get the grounds like nice and saturated. And at about the 30 second mark, we'll do 270 grams of water. During the bloom, it's called a bloom because you, on this freshly roasted coffee, you'll see that the, the ground start to kind of expand and create this bloom and a lot of bubbles. All right, so 270 grams of water now. Starting in the middle and doing circles around the outside and working my, my way back inside. Nice circular motions. All right. At the minute and 15 mark, we'll put in 200 grams more of water. It's also important to be using a gooseneck kettle like I'm using here, because you get a lot more precision with your water pour than you would like a tea kettle. So 
circular motions, making sure everything is nice and wet. All right. Wait another about 45 seconds and we'll put in the rest of the water to about 600 grams. One thing too with the Kimex, I mentioned earlier about putting the three folds of the filter for the spout. And that's to help prevent the filter from become, creating a vacuum and trapping all the air down here. So if you see that your, your water is not going through the, the beans very quickly, just give it a little pull on the filter to let some of that trapped air out. And you'll see it start to move a little faster. All right, we're there to getting all the coffee up to 600 grams. There we go. Now we wait for this to finish brewing. It should finish brewing right at about four minutes, give or take. I'm also grinding our coffee to about a medium grind, which is the consistency of about poor sea salt. If I'm just brewing coffee for myself and for my wife, I'll typically will do a, a Kimex. Um, it's also a nice kind of meditation in the mornings or in the afternoons to take a break from work and pour yourself a cup of coffee. All right, so we're just about there. Awesome. Right on time. So the, the coffee bed should be nice and flat. Shouldn't have any uh, coffee that's trapped up against the size of the filter. So we can go ahead and remove the filter in the coffee, which is nice that it's so convenient to be able to just pull this right out, pop in the trash or in the compost actually. Give it a nice swirl to make sure that everything is nice and mixed up. And I'm gonna pour it into my methodical thermos here. This is a double walled insulated thermos that is will keep your coffee hot all day long. You can find these at methodicalcoffee.com. It's nice and piping hot. And I'm going to look forward to drinking this all morning long. Thanks a lot.